Hey guys, Joe's here. Okay, got a couple of new planes here today. One I've already flown, um, and I won't be flying it again. It um, just needs a, a change of ESC. It, I'm not really 100% happy with its ESC, but basically, it's a Sky Artec F16. Um, and um, the thing is, uh, I don't know anything about Sky Artec. Uh, I went on a holiday to Malaysia, and while I was there, I saw it. It was in a shop, plug and play, and it was less than a hundred uh, Australian dollars. So I bought it, and um, I've just had a fly with it. And you know, it's not actually too bad. It's not as bad as I as I was actually anticipating. Uh, just a little bit underpowered, and the ESC is not that great. So I'm going to change that ESC out and um, hopefully uh, um, I might start running it on a 4 cell and uh, get a bit more performance out of it but I'm not unhappy with it, I will say that just I've only had one maiden fly out of it and um, that's, that's what I've got to report but I've also got uh, Great Plains F86 Micro EDF and um, I've only bought that uh, because I just happened to go into an RC shop and saw it and I love these Micro EDFs having you know, bought the E-Flight one um, this doesn't have AS3X on it, um, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm hoping that my flying skills are up, up to coping with it. Um, and anyway, I'm going to give it a, a good flight now. Uh, light's going down on me, I don't have a, a great deal of time left, um, and I've only got the one battery so far because it's got a funny little micro Deans connector, so I'm going to have to make some kind of adapter so I can use all my E-Flight batteries with it. But anyway, I'm um, going to give it a go. Light's going down, like I say, but it's nice and silver. I should be able to see it on the green uh, background. And um, I reckon, what do you say, we'll, we'll get it in the air and, and see how it goes. Uh, now, why isn't it delinking? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's got this um, TX Ready AnyLink thing, it came free with it, um, so it will bind and fly to a, a normal Spectrum radio. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll get it running and see how it goes. hope it's going to be a nice little plane to fly, just like my little MiG. I'm going to hand launch it, taking the wheels off. That's flying pretty nice. Like I say, doesn't have the AS3X. So the battery's a bit intermittent. Don't know why that is. Um, that EDS seems to be struggling a little bit. I don't know if it didn't bind properly or something. But it's flying quite nicely. You know what? I don't think um, the AS3X missing is anything to worry about. I'm just worried about that battery connection and I'm going to land it and sort that out because I don't want to lose complete control and not have a plane to fly. Uh, that's nothing to worry about there, that's just the uh, little canopy just come off on the landing. So let's have a look what's going on with this battery. Oh, let's, um, I'll do a a rebind. Um, I'll get back in. Throttle up. Throttle back. Oh, it's revving. So we'll um, we'll take it up into the air again. Um, it is a bit twitchy on the elevator. I'm going to have to to learn to fly this one. Um, it's not identical um, flying characteristics to the, the MiG, but it did fly um, quite smoothly there. And we'll just uh, we'll get it back up into the air and fly it again. Hmm. 
No, something's something is very not right. The EDF keeps cocking out. I don't know why that keeps out. The motor keeps cutting out for a few seconds. I'm not losing any kind of control on the plane, but um, not quite sure what's going on. I might have to go back to the shop, but as for actually flying it, it's flying nice. I can fly it just as well as the the MiG. It's a bit twitchier than the MiG. And seriously, I don't know if that's an any link issue with the EDF there, but I don't see why it would be. Unless it's a battery issue. But on the whole, besides that issue there, um, I've got a little bit of wind here and I'm not really noticing it. Um, anyway, that's starting to struggle now with that EDF. I don't know why that's doing that. So I'm going to chop the power and I'm going to land it. I'm going to bring it in so I don't lose my little plane. So a bit, a bit mixed. I mean, on the, the one hand, that's a successful uh, maiden flying. It's a very easy little plane to fly. If you've flown the MiG-15 uh, from E-Flight, it's it's pretty similar. I suppose the the E-Flight one's got a, maybe a little bit more stability through the turns because it's got the gyros. But um, but this is running fine. Oh, I'm just not quite sure why that's running um, a, a bit weird. Why the the EDF keeps cutting out. Um, I might have to go back to the shop with that, but I'll, I'll recharge the battery and um, I'll give it another fly over the weekend. Now, I'm almost losing light, so um, I'm going to have a couple of flights of my um, MiG-15 for me flight. But look, I can say if, if you guys fly the MiG-15 for me flight, um, and you want an, the uh, exact opposite plane to that uh, from the Korean War then you're not going to have any problems going out and buying the buying this little uh, the Sabre um, anyway that's it that's the um, that's the review of the Sabre and um, I'm going to to now fly the the E-Flight MiG. I'll keep the video rolling. I can't be bothered to switch it off. Um, get my little MiG out now. And this is always a very reliable little plane to fly. I've had well over 200 flights of this. And um, it, this is just a great little plane to fly. Um, and I think once I get that Sabre sorted out, and that'll be just as much uh, a fun model to fly. And probably become, uh, you know, my joint first favourite with this one. Because these little micros, they're so easy to carry around, keep with you, fly during your lunch break. I mean, they're just, just tremendous little planes. Pretty good yourself? Road well, highway? Um, about uh, one kilometre the way you're looking. But you want to get onto it? No, no, not really. Oh, you want to fly over the top of it? Oh, okay. Oh, why is that? So you don't land your plane on the highway? <laughs> Thank you.
You're planning to go that far? <laughs> I say you're planning to go that far. Uh, this? No, this is E flight. You're going to do 3D flying, are you?